New research shows how a device could change the battle against diabetes. It's called the bionic pancreas. It checks your blood sugar continuously, then it automatically triggers doses of either insulin or glucog glucagon. Glucagon. Help me, Dr. Agus, in a second. The bionic pan pancreas helped adults and children with type 1 diabetes improve their blood sugar levels overall with fewer cases of dangerously low blood sugar. It could also help fight other diseases. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles. Doctor, good morning. Why is this such a big deal? And please pronounce the name of that word right, because I know I just messed it up. What is it? It wasn't bad. Glucagon. <laughs> Glucagon. Okay. Thank you, sir. Why is this such a big deal? So right now, if you have diabetes, you can wear a pump, and the pump puts insulin into you, but you have to tell the pump how much insulin to use to lower your blood sugar. And so we have a case here where you've got a drug where too much of it is actually lethal, and you as a patient or a child have to decide how much drug to give. Well, now an iPhone can connect right to this device and tell it how much to give either too much, I mean insulin to lower the sugar, or glucagon to raise the sugar. So the old days of having to worry how much to do, especially when you go to bed at night. You know, one of the engineers who developed this has a child with type 1 diabetes who said, I'm afraid to go to sleep every mm -hmm. night because I'm afraid my sugar will go too low. And so a device like this lets kids be kids. A device like this lets adults actually be in charge of their life and do what they want, and it controls. And when you look at the data, much better sugars and much fewer episodes where the sugar went too low. So very exciting. Is it applicable to other things? Oh, yeah. I mean, you think about it now. You take a blood pressure pill, you take one a day. What if you were able to monitor your blood pressure and it gave you the medicine when you needed it? What if instead of taking a pill for depression every day, just when certain hormones go up, you took a pill that would counteract them and keep you from getting depressed. So in the future, we're going to be able to personalize medicines based on what's going on instead of one size fits all and taking a medicine all the time. Is there a downside? Well, the downside is, you know, the two stories we talked about now, IRS computers crashing, Target computers crashing. Well, if this iPhone crashes, obviously we're in trouble. So we need to build in fail-safe mechanisms so that doesn't happen and we don't worry. All right, Dr. David Higgins, that is exciting. Glucagon, got it. Thank you, sir. All right. <laughs> Good to see you.